What's up everyone? Now we all know there are a lot of factors that go into deciding which cards you want to put in your deck. Play cost, Digivolution cost, DP, levels, effects. But today we are going to talk about the often overlooked and arguably most important stat of any Digimon card. It's cuteness level. This is clearly the factor that determines the true potential of any Digimon, and is actually the real reason level 2s aren't allowed in the battle area. It's not because they don't have an attack value, it's because if they were allowed on the field they'd be so overpowered that no one would be able to stand up to them! If you tried to declare an attack on them you'd be paralyzed from their cuteness and the police would show up at your house and charge you with war crimes in the middle of the match! So today I am going to be going over what I believe to be the top 10 cutest Digimon from set 1 and the 3 starter decks. By incorporating these 10 Digimon in your decks, victory will be all but guaranteed because your opponents will be unable to attack your Digimon after they have been overwhelmed by their acuteness. Don't attack your opponent's security, attack their hearts. Starting off with number 10, Green Agamon. Now, there are a lot of Agamons in the first release, but this specific version is a definite winner. Just look at them sitting there, surrounded by flowers, just sniffing some in the open grass. So chill and relaxed. Very cute and a solid start to our list. Number 9, Armadillamon. Just look at him. Look at his face. He's so happy. He's just living his life, looking at you like, hey, are we going on adventures today? Who doesn't love Armadillamon? Number 7, Garurumon with a bone. Look at him. He's just a good boy. He just wants to play a catch. He's just, you know, or maybe he wants to eat your flesh. I don't really want to know where he got the bone, but he just look, he just wants to play, right? He's having a good time. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Number six, the rare version of Gabumon. Now, this card's a little simple, but I mean, look at him. He's so shy. He's just hiding there behind a rock. Why is he hiding? Probably because he knows everyone wants his extra card. Like, come on, little guy. I, I just want to draw one. Just come on out. Let me draw that card. Number eight, Sandcastle Gomamon. Just look at him. He's so happy. Have you ever wanted to build a sandcastle more in your life than when looking at this card? Look at him. He's just ha living his life at the beach, surrounded by water for when he needs a swim, but just enjoying the sun and some sand. Good stuff. Heartwarming. Number five. Agamon Expert. Look at him in his little coat and graduation cap looking so smart. What makes him an expert? Where did he get the cap from? Did he go to school? Do Digimon have school? It doesn't matter. He looks great. Just keep rocking your little expert outfit, dude. Number four, Tanamon. Look at that giant meat that's trying to eat. You can't fit that whole thing in your mouth, man. You gotta chew it, but Tanamon's just so hungry. Just, just pure hunger for food. I think we can all relate. Also, just gotta appreciate the irony of a plant Digimon just eating some meat, you know? Is that another Digimon? Where does food come from in the Digimon world? Eh, it doesn't matter. Rounding out the bottom of our top three, Wanyamon. Do I even need to explain? It's so small, so fuzzy, look at him with his tail wrapped around the little guy behind him. He's so cute, so fuzzy. Who, who wouldn't want this Digimon? Coming in at number two, Salamon. Just look at Salamon. She's just a little kitty cat. Just look at her running around. How could you not see this and think top tier cuteness? I just want a Salamon for myself that I can play with and pet all day and then she just digivolves into a badass angel that shoots arrows at people. What's not to like? And in first place, finishing off strong with what I believe to be the cutest Digimon of Set 1.0, Patamon! <laughs> Look at him, just floating around in the breeze with his little earwings, reaching out at you for a hug. Big smile on his face like he doesn't have a care in the world. Who doesn't love Patamon? If someone tells you they don't think Patamon is cute, run while you can, because they clearly can't be trusted. And that brings us to the end of our video. Which Digimon do you think are the cutest in the set? Make sure to leave your comments below. If you disagree with me, let me know what Digimon you think deserve the top spot for the cuteness tier list. If you liked the video, please leave a like below and consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content. Should have plenty of more Digimon content coming out soon. And I will see you in the next video.